So now in recent videos, we looked at the light dependent resistor without amplification. We looked more at its uh, basic properties uh, directly. They are wired as voltage dividers right now, which we did look at a, a couple of videos ago. We looked at how we could change the uh, voltage based on light level at their output. So we're going to use that voltage to control a couple of transistors, which are working as amplifiers. The main thing is, if it gets dark enough, the transistors pretty much turn on fully. And if it's uh, bright enough, they pretty much turn off fully. That is what you want for a switch. Of course, these are not perfect switches. I'm going to dim the lamp a little so you can see a little bit of a glow on the uh, lower one right now. And uh, I could adjust the resistors so they would line up uh, better. I had to use different uh, resistors for each of the light dependent resistors because they have different resistance values. Uh, we'll go into that uh, coming up. So this is the uh, 5506 right there. And that's the 5549 down there. Now, usually there's letters in front of them, but uh, those letters could vary a bit, so we're not going to go into that. So, the lower the number, 5506, has less resistance for a given light. And the higher the number has more resistance for a given light. So, for a voltage divider to output, you know, close to the same voltage, I'd use a lot lower value fixed resistor for the 5506 and a lot higher value fixed resistor for the 5549. So now we're going to take a closer look at the circuit. This is just going to be a quick introduction or a quick review if uh, you already know about this. But in any case, we have the uh, resistor there. We have the long lead, the anode of the LED because that goes towards more positive. Short lead, the cathode over here, more negative. So that comes to collector. Moving through the uh, transistor, this is 2N3904 and the flat side is to the right, right there. So we have the collector on top. That's important, that's the more positive side. And then the base there, that's where you get the signal. And then we have the emitter down here. That needs to be more negative, as you can see right there. So as a switch, you put the emitter directly to ground. You don't put any components in between it. So now, we got the base there. And you can see there's no current through the LED right now. If I cover the light dependent uh, resistor, now we have current flowing through. And the reason why is because there's no current flowing base to emitter right now. So it's not letting any collector to emitter current. But when I cover the light dependent resistor, now we have a little bit of current because this is a little bit of a high value resistor right there. Uh, but it's letting a little bit of current go. You need about 0.6 volts, but after that the current starts flowing pretty much freely, being limited by that resistor. So it's a low amount, 4,700 ohm resistor versus a 220. This is letting a lot more current go through collector to emitter. That's how the uh, bipolar junction uh, transistor works. Small base to emitter current allows a lot of collector to emitter current. No base to emitter current, no collector to emitter current. So hopefully that makes sense. So now zooming back, as I said, we have a 4,700 ohm resistor at the top voltage divider there because it's a lower value light dependent resistor. So that's 4.7K, but they shift the K over to where the decimal point goes because it's easier to see K than a decimal point. The voltage divider down there, again, the light dependent resistor is much higher value. So to get it to respond similarly voltage wise to a light, we need a higher value fixed resistor. So that's 75 and then uh, K, 75,000 ohms of resistance. Now, we uh, zoomed back so we could see the power supply right there. And if I cover one LED, you can see we're getting somewhere about 13 milliamps of current total through that circuit. And uh, close to the same current right there for uh, that one. Of course, we have more uh, resistor current. But again, these should be very small. The, almost all that current should be the LEDs lighting up. We got uh, both of them there. And if I turn the light off, it's a lot darker. I hit the uh, up button right there. You can see that we have about the same amount of uh, current right there. So we're getting pretty much our maximum current. The uh, on position where you get uh, full current. When the uh, lamp is turned down, looks like uh, to its lowest setting even. And finally, we're going to look at uh, signal voltage. So we have the pocket oscilloscope there. Cable comes to these alligator clips, which I clip to jumpers. Our voltage is in relationship to ground. So negative supply for the uh, black alligator clip. And then the red alligator clip 
I uh, clipped to a jumper there. We are going to look at the voltage at the input of the NPN bipolar junction transistor, which is the output of the light dependent resistor voltage divider. So there you can see it's a little bit below 0.6 volts the way that the light is right now. So what I'm going to do is grab my uh, headlamp and show you that if I get a brighter light on the uh, light dependent resistor, there we go, you can see we get down to about uh, zero volts right there. We're probably going to have a harder time doing that with uh, this one here, but we're below 0 0.6 uh, volts and uh, so the LED won't light up. You can see that's a little bit higher because this of the way that uh, voltage divider is. So yeah, I can even uh, get that one down to zero volts, but it's it's harder because the light dependent resistor is such a high value uh, resistor, but you get a bright enough light on them. They still get to almost a zero volt. So hopefully that makes sense Now we're going to uh, show you that uh, We're going to come back over here. You're going to see that the voltage did not shoot up uh, a whole lot That's because we have the base to emitter. That's basically a diode it takes about 0.6 volts Before the uh, base to emitter starts conducting but after that point if you try to raise the voltage anymore It's just going to keep passing uh, more and more current so that the voltage uh, holds steady. So that's why we are topping out at how much voltage we can get right now, even though it's a five volt power supply. If I remove these uh, jumpers here, you're gonna see right there, we can jump up to, should have been about uh, five volts when we got uh, dark enough, but uh, that's close enough for now. So we could, we could adjust the resistor, it would be uh, better. And that one, when we get dark enough, let's uh, turn the lamp down. There we go. There you can see the light was even going through my finger there. So these are all good experiments for doing when uh, you're starting out electronics. You get a better feel for it. There you can see we got a higher voltage out for there after we got rid of the uh, transistors, keeping the voltage down. So in any case, hopefully that all made sense. I covered a lot more than I expected to, so didn't explain it the best, but hopefully you still enjoy. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.